What's up guys? Welcome back to another Black Ops 3 Zombies video. I will be your host today, Nukeman2026 as always, and I hope you enjoy today's video as we talk about the achievements leaked for the DLC 1 Awakening DLC coming out tomorrow. Boy, am I so stoked, and I cannot wait to bring you guys the achievements for this video. They got me super hyped, so if you do enjoy, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more Black Ops 3 Zombies videos, but without further ado, let's get into today's video. So this achievements list has really got me in awe because the achievements are just super Super freaking awesome so so let's just go ahead and go on with the list I won't keep you waiting any longer let's start with the first achievement which is called none left standing which is ender eyes and drag kill every type of zombie using a minigun now the one the thing that strikes me here is that it says zombie every type of zombie now what does this remind me of and what it probably reminds you guys of is in uh, black or not black ops 3 um, um, advanced warfare right and there's like the electric zombies and then the zombies that hit you that turn you into a zombie and then there's the plain zombies in general so that's kind of what it reminds me of or if we're going to black ops here where uh i guess the zombie from shangri-la where it kept on fire the one that was like a supersonic you know zombie stuff like that next up we got der mr i'm not even going to pronounce that that is too german for me and it says in der eisendrache obtain all the ancient bows now before you insult me about saying der eisendrache I'm just gonna say Dreisendrach because that's the American way of saying it. I know German is different, but that's just how you say it in American, or that's how you say it in Nukeman form. And, uh, but anyways, contain all of the ancient bows. Now, what does this remind me of? This reminds me of Origins, containing all the ancient staffs, but it looks like they're talking about the ancients from Shadows of Evil, obviously, because the, they were referred to as the ancients in Shadows of Evil, so these must be their bows. But in Origins, I believe they called them the ancient staffs as well so this makes me think that we're gonna be getting like a fire bow which we already saw in the trailer or we can I mean and we might be getting an ice bow a wind bow and you know all the other bows just like in origins because if you kind of see Treyarch is copying a little bit of their stuff uh, from previous Call of Duties and they're kind of taking it into this new map but anyways moving on we got take a bow which is in Dreisendrack upgrade the wrath of the ancients now I've already read all these achievements once but this still this kind of gets me in awe like in Dreisendrack upgrade the wrath of the ancients Jason Blundell in the very first Dreisendrack trailer said we are going to be wrapping up this story with a bang and a, like a plot twist you know there's always plot twists and zombies so I think we're gonna be seeing an actual wrath of the ancients not the weapon I mean obviously this is a, a wrath of the ancients but I think for the actual Easter egg ending, we're going to be having to fight some kind of ancient monster. And I think that's going to be absolutely sick. But this in general, the Wrath of the Ancients, doesn't that just sound like the most boss gun you've ever heard in your life? It's just super, super awesome. Moving on, we got Not Big Enough, which is in Derizen Drak. Trap and kill a Panzer Soldat using the Rang the Ragnarok DG4. Now, when I think of Ragnarok DG4, you know, the DG4 part in general, basically, it reminds me of the Wonderwaff. I mean, doesn't it all, the DG2, the DG4, but if you ask me, because I was watching a video on this earlier, and I don't, I think they thought it was an actual wonder weapon, but to me, I'm thinking the Ragnarok DG4 is the weapon that, uh, if you remember at the very last part of the trailer we just got, where Rigtofen slammed those things on the ground, I think those are the Ragnarok, and I, I I don't know why, but I just have a feeling that that is what the Ragnarok is. Anyways, moving on, we got Time to Slam, which is in Derizen Drac, revive two players protected by the Ragnarok DG4. This kind of backs up what I just said in a moment ago. Uh, you know, if you're protecting somebody with the Ragnarok, I mean, that'd be a really easy way to protect somebody by freaking slam dunking on the ground with those things you know all the zombies are going everywhere and you just revive somebody that seems pretty logical to me so that's why you know I kind of think that the Ragnarok is that class from Ruin and so on and so forth next up we got quick off your feet which is Ender Eisendrack you wall by the BRM now if I'm right if I'm correct the BRM is that LMG which makes me think that this is going to be similar to Buried now if you guys remember in Buried in the very first room you were at you had the stairs that led to the LMG and I can't remember what it was I think Oh, the LSAT, right? The LSAT was on a wall, and you had to run up the stairs, jump on the sledge, and get the LSAT before that 
platform below you fell and if it fell then obviously you fell and you wouldn't have time to grab the LMG and I feel like this is gonna be a similar function here where you're gonna have to get on you know some area that's gonna break probably like thin ice or something and then you're gonna fall through the ice if you don't buy the BRM in time then we got that's a lot of gigawatts which is in Ryzen Drac electrocute 121 zombies now I meant to make a video earlier about this but I just totally got off track because I'm trying to get dark matter and zombies but and not in zombies, in multiplayer, but uh, what happened in one of the trailers was that there was a... Akio was drinking from the Wonder Fizz, and then after that there was a shot of like all these zombies getting electrocuted, and I wondered if that was a trap or if it was a perk, which this right here, this achievement is not saying that it's a perk, so I'm assuming... I'm just going on a hench here, I'm just assuming that it's not a perk. It's like maybe a trap or maybe something you have to do to complete the Easter egg, I don't know, but well, that's that. Then we've got Fling Me to the Moon, which is in Derizen and Drac use every Wonder Sphere twice. Now, at first you may be thinking, oh my god, there's all these German things, Wonder Sphere, Der Wonder Fizz, freaking DG2s, freaking all this stuff, but no need to fear, guys. The Wonder Sphere is what launches you when Nikolai stepped on that pad. If you guys, are, I'm, ver I'm referring a lot back to this trailer, so if you guys have watched that trailer that we recently just got, Nikolai stepped on a pad, launched up into the air, and said, I feel like an eagle, or something like that. That is the Wonder Sphere, the thing that launches you up into the air. And then following that, it's Death From Above is the next achievement, which is in Derizen Drac, kill a zombie while being flung by a, a Wonder Sphere. So, I mean, that obviously kind of takes the cake on what it is. And uh, that's pretty much it. That's all of the achievements, guys, and this sounds pretty awesome. But one thing that kind of I'm still asking a question of is where's the main achievement part? You know, if we're going to be doing this main Easter egg, where is it? Is Treyarch, like, hiding it from us because they knew that the achievements would be released? Or are they just... But I don't know. Let me know what you guys think of in the comments below below about these achievements. I'm super excited for this new Awakening DLC. I can't wait for Skyjacked and I can't wait for Der Eyes and They're gonna be two maps I am so excited to play and I cannot wait. But anyways, I'll see you guys in the next one. My name's DukeMed2026 and I'm out. Peace!